You've been hearing all this great stuff about cloud computing and you're super excited to get started. In fact, you've been searching for a cloud computing roadmap that you can take a look at and that you can move forward on and start beginning your cloud computing journey. However, you quickly found that cloud computing can be a bit overwhelming. And one of the questions you have is, where do you start? That's why I'm so excited about today's video because I have put together for you a practical cloud computing roadmap that is tailored for beginners. Now, if you're new here, I'm Greg, creator of Thoughtful Techie Cloud. And on this YouTube channel, I create videos helping you navigate your AWS cloud and tech journey on a weekly basis. I encourage you to subscribe so you don't miss any of the great content I have coming up. And speaking of subscribers, I'm so excited because as of this video, we are celebrating our 8,000th subscriber on the Thoughtful Techie Cloud YouTube channel. I started this channel a couple of years ago, literally from zero. So to see the channel grow to 8,000, I just, I'm so excited that you and I are taking this journey together. Now, how about we get into that cloud computing roadmap right now? Everybody is going to be at a certain stage in their journey, which means depending on where you are in your journey, you may have to start from the very beginning of this roadmap. Or if you're a little bit further along, you can start a few steps a little bit later in this cloud computing roadmap. Now, the first step of your cloud computing journey starts with learning the fundamentals. You have to realize that cloud computing was in response to data center and infrastructure and how that used to be implemented. So when I talk about fundamentals, I'm talking about things like infrastructure, compute, network, storage, and database, as well as security. If you just jump right into cloud computing without those fundamentals, guess what? You don't have a solid foundation which you've built your skills on. So trying to learn cloud computing without the fundamentals is going to be very difficult. Remember, this is not a race to the finish for you to try to learn cloud computing as quickly as you possibly can. This is not a sprint. This is a marathon. So you got to pace yourself so you can make good, steady progress along the way. Now, when I decided that I wanted to learn more about cloud computing, I was fortunate because I had been in tech for a number of years. So I already had a solid understanding of the infrastructure that I spoke about earlier. Now, if you don't have that solid understanding, I would suggest something like a CompTIA A plus to start. This is a vendor neutral certification. It's going to go over things like computers, operating systems, network, virtualization, cloud, a little bit of security. And it really gives you a broad sweeping view of the IT fundamentals. And that's something nice to have before you go directly into cloud. If you want to go deeper on infrastructure, I would also suggest CompTIA Network Plus. And then the third CompTIA certification I would recommend is CompTIA Security Plus. Now, I'm not saying go out here and get all these certifications, but at a minimum, at least go grab a book, start reading through this, referencing things so you can build this fundamental IT knowledge. The second step on our cloud computing roadmap is we have to pick a cloud provider. Now, the top three cloud providers are AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud. One thing I was clear on when I started my journey is that I wanted to focus on AWS. You know, before I had made the decision that, hey, I want to get serious about cloud computing, I had been watching AWS reInvent for a number of years, and I was just blown away by all those breakout sessions and the demos. And I was like, wow, wouldn't that be cool? Like, to work at AWS one day. At the time, it seemed like a dream, right? And then fast forward to now, I made that dream come true and I really enjoy working on the AWS platform. It has more than 200 plus services. The pace and innovation, the tech breadth and depth of all the services is absolutely incredible. And that's the cloud provider I recommend you focus on to get started. And at some point when you learn cloud, you want to be able to take the skills that you learn and get a job. Because AWS is so popular, this makes your AWS skills that you're going to learn extremely desirable which is more likely to get you employed. Step three on the cloud computing roadmap is certification. Now certifications are great if you view them in the right way. I have some folks that reach out to me and they'll get a certification and they say, hey, I got this certification, but I'm having a hard time getting a job. The way I think it's best to view a certification is just a framework for you to learn a certain amount of skills. For example, every AWS certification has an exam guide that is based on domains and tasks. And based on those domains and tasks, these are the things that you should know 
and then you would go into a corresponding exam to certify that level of knowledge. But when it comes to certification, what I don't want you to do is to place an overemphasis on certification and lose visibility of the fourth thing that you need to focus on on this cloud computing roadmap, which is hands-on skills. Certifications by themselves are great, but not in the absence of hands-on skills. When you combine the certifications with the hands-on skills, that's the winning combination. As a beginner, I highly recommend the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. This is a fundamental AWS certification and it requires no technical background. After you've accomplished getting the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner, I would suggest moving on to the AWS Certified Solution Architect Associate. Now you can find training material for both getting certified as well as the hands-on labs on the AWS Skill Builder learning platform. AWS Skill Builder is an incredible resource to help you learn about AWS and get hands-on. And the fifth and final step of this cloud computing roadmap that I wanted to cover is document your journey. Now many would call this networking and it definitely is networking, but I want you to realize that I want you to document your journey, not at the end about everything you did, but document it as you go along. I think this is going to be incredibly powerful because you're a beginner. So now you're going to take people on the ride with you. How do you document your journey? You can blog about it. You can post about it on LinkedIn. You can make videos and post those online, but build you an audience and a following about what it is you're doing. And that way, as you get certified, as you do cloud projects, you're building your network. And at some point, you're gonna catch the eye of a prospective employer as well, which is gonna make it that much easier for you to get a cloud role. Now let's talk about next steps for you. Remember when I began the video, I said that it's gonna be very important that by the time you're done finishing this, figure out what action it is you need to take next. And it's really simple. If you already have the fundamental IT skills, you can go ahead to step two, which is select your cloud provider. If you don't have those fundamental IT skills, then you're gonna to wanna to take a look at some of those CompTIA certifications that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Now, if you still have questions, go ahead and drop me a comment below. I'm happy to read that and give you some feedback. Also, if you're interested in various AWS certifications or cloud computing roles, take a look at my channel because I have lots of videos that you'll be interested in. Thanks for subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.